You're listening to The Beige Phillips Show with Dante Nero on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. Uh, what's up, Square Pimp Brigade? On this episode, we have uh, Coco Brown, uh, ex-adult film star, DJ, and future astronaut. Mm. Uh, we're here to explore not getting walked over, the Hitachi, Hitachi Magic Wand stories. We've talked about those we before. A couple of those. And uh, the rules in everyday life. Um, mm. this was, she was a lot of fun. Uh, awesome chick. Um, also, don't forget to rate and review us on iTunes. And if you need a one-on-one consultation, hit yes, me sure. at savemedante at gmail.com. You got anything else? No, just, rate, just the rate and review us, please. It helps out the show a lot. So please make sure you do it and spread the word. Tell friends. All right, let's get into it. You are now tuned in to Beige Bella. More importantly, bitches ain't shit. <laughs> Bingo. I've been reading bitches my whole life. That's my job. That's why I fuck. If you have any <laughs> problems, this yeah. shit is real. Y'all think Neil knows what the fuck he's doing? There's no real girl code. It's, just good Whoa. it's what I call Whoa. bitch politics. <laughs> Don't women want most of all? More. More. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is they want. It's more. Like, it's time to join the movement. GYP. Get, 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 get your balls back. They don't understand this. I'm giving you the best of me so that I can fuck you. But yeah. once that's over, the contract is over. You know, right? It's wrong. 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 Everything your mama said. Wrong. Fuck that bitch too. But this is some stuff I pulled out of the Bible. Now, I don't believe in the Bible. I don't. And then the Lord said. Timothy. Yeah. 211. Let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. Shut your mouth! <laughs> oh shit. It's about to go down. GYBB, get your balls back. BABB, be a better bitch. WWDD, what would Dante do? And I am excited! Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Such a new feeling. Yeah, I, I, it's a new feeling for me. <laughs> but I'm thinking, um,. I know I've said I'm excited, and this is a special show. Yeah. 180 times before this. Back to but back. But this yes. time, I mean it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, because uh, we got a special guest. Yeah, we've been trying to get her on here uh, for a minute, and Black People Talk, that's uh, like a year and a half. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so. Um, but first of all, Mara, how are you, baby? You I'm good? Fantastic, yeah. You're, you're looking uh, good, a little sick, but <laughs> a little, a little sick, under a little the weather. Sick. But you're here. I am here. Because I'm tired of hearing, where is Mara? Rain, mm-hmm. sleet, or snow. Yeah, no wads. No right? wads. That's what we're going to be discussing that today we with, are. with this guest it's right here. Heavily w- wads, and if you don't know what wads are, which I don't think no our guests do. Ass no wack-ass dude. Wack-ass dude. There you go. Nice what? cue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, Harry, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. You ready for this? I'm ready for this now. Uh, we have so much sexy in this in the uh, in the stu- in the pimp cup it today. It went up by a bit here. It, it did go up, up through the roof. It is through the Plus, roof. Plus, Andre's not here, so it helps the ratio. <laughs> as far as for me, for sexy. Shout out to Andre. He ain't here right now. He had to go read a book. Um, he had to pra- a while. practice his phonics. Yeah. <laughs> He's sounding words out <laughs> somewhere. Um, now let me just say this: uh, this young lady I have in, in the studio today, um, I'm a big fan. I have to say I'm a big fan, and I didn't even know I was a big fan, but I'm a big fan. Uh, I was a fan of the person I knew she was, and then I didn't know this person was that person. Uh, but we'll we'll get into that later. This young lady uh, is actually uh, intelligent, um, sassy, sexy, uh, intriguing, um, ex porn star, ex. Kinda, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> well, you know, you never know, right? Yeah, you never know, right? You never uh, know. I may get the urge. You, I, and like, that's always a good thing. It's like being a marine. Once a marine, always a marine. Always a marine. <laughs> <laughs> um, give Once it up for sure bad, always bad. <laughs> nice. <laughs> give it up for Coco Brown, y'all. Give it up for Coco Brown. Yeah. Thank oh you. man. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> you gotta talk right into that, right, right. Yeah, put your mouth right. Oh, yeah, okay. that's perfect. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect technique. For licking it. You can bring it up to your mouth a little bit. Yeah, you can bring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. Well, well, she does she it with both hands. Look she, at she both cares- hands, and she caresses the mic flag because it's delicate. A li- little bit higher, a little bit higher, because now we're in front of the camera. Right. <laughs> 
Uh, a little bit higher, a little bit. Okay. All right, that's perfect. Right there. Right with. Oh, my God. Such I could a, watch her adjust that microphone <laughs> all day. <laughs> such, such a pretty mouth she has. Oh, my God. Mm. Um. Anyway, so, Kogo, let me let me say why I, I, I had. Well, it, let me explain what I meant about you me being a fan, right? Okay. I have watched you on, uh, watched some of your movies. And I was like, because here's the thing with porn. Um. Guys go through uh, phases. phases of yeah. porn. You know what I mean? Like, no, not really. You don't know. Okay, you just you're, you're, you're oblivious to this. But okay, yeah, fine. I, I, well, you know what? No, actually, I it's, am. Yeah. Okay. okay fair okay. enough. So this. So here's what happens. As you when you watch porn, sometimes you want. Um, sometimes you're into more? anal. Sometimes you, you want, want more. You always want more. Sometimes yeah. you want DP. Sometimes you want gangbang. Sometimes you want ebony. This. Sometimes milf. Sometimes you go through. We go through What's phases. DP? Du- double, double penetration. penetration. Yeah, yeah, double penetration. I like that we yeah. said that at the same I was time, DP, too. I was DP queen. Really? Oh, That's nice. what I, th- I always kept saying that to my, you know, my boss. I'm like, hey, look, what's up with all the DPs? Right. Oh, my God. Every movie was a DP. They're oh like, because God. you and do them so well. And she's so good. Mara, can you move that mic up, please? Because, well, just, if you can, just... Cup the balls just, and just yeah, lift yeah. it, up, lift it up a little bit higher. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh my yeah. god, <laughs> that's so uh, perfect. No, no. <laughs> so, but here, here's what's thing. I, I, had, I went through this. I, I went through a thing where I like certain, certain porn stars. I, I just got tired of looking at. And then, wow. And I, I just. But you know, what? it's not necessarily tired. If you eat strawberry ice cream. Every day, yeah, after yeah. a while, you're like, you know what? I could, yeah, I could go and for I, some pistachio. I, yeah, I could, I, yeah. I, I, that's really I like, I like, a, I like a little pralines wow. and cream a little bit. I don't know? want to say chocolate for the How joke. How about butter pecan? Yeah, sure, butter yeah. pecan's yeah. good too. That's, that's good really too. Good. Really, and here's his his thing. Um, little nutty. Yeah, a little creamy. Nut, little nut and creamy. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm filling up a little. <laughs> um, the and and uh, I came across. Years ago, came across. I was like, "Who's this little hot, little short hair, tight little pot?" Like, ah. Oh. And here's the other thing: when I when I watch porn, I want somebody to be into. The, you know what I mean? I want you. To, I want to know to feel like this person is enjoying herself. I understand. I understand. And a lot of girls just don't look like they're enjoying it. You, on the other hand, look like you are enjoying. You, I don't know if you are or you're not, but and I know that. You know, putting a putting a scene together is a lot more involved than people think. But you have this amazing way to look like you are enjoying what you do. Love thank, your work. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the compliment. I there's, really do. There's an ethic. I think there's an ethic to what you do that I, a lot of yeah. There yeah. is absolutely. I mean, um, for me, when I was doing movies, it had nothing to do with the fact of me trying to. Uh, make a lot of sounds because I would watch in right. the beginning before yeah. I started. I would watch other girls right. and see, and, begin, and I thought that what what I had saw, what I had seen. I, I was just like, okay, wait a minute, she's too loud, right? And she's too all over the place, and this sometimes just seems less like is too more. much. Right. There sometimes you go. Less yes. is more. There yeah. you go. And so I, I just started to see myself and saying, okay, well, I'm being with all these different guys, right? And I'm really not into it like that. And this right. is still work. Right. You know, I could be into it if I want to. Right. I mean, it's like, look, baby, I want to fuck you. Come on, let's go. Well, right. Whatever. But it wasn't like that. I mean, right. I had to go there and make some money. <laughs> right, right, right. But, um, yeah, I just would think about my best sexual moment. Okay. And what that looked like. And what that looked like. Absolutely. It's like, what was my best? It's like, I guess, like a... Um, how do you say it? Uh, Me- like method acting. There, there you she go. It was, me- it was okay. a method act. It was method acting in porn for me. Absolutely, absolutely. And and I want to say, I very honestly, um, I really enjoyed you. Never got a, Never did I get a point to to a point where I watched your movies and was like, I don't, I don't want to watch her. You know what I mean? Thank you. You very well. I mean, I'm just being really honest. I mean, I you, appreciate. And there's honesty, a few always. girls that are like that. There's a few girls that that you know, that are like that uh, that I I feel that way. There's an ethic. I was actually a male stripper for like ten years, and wow. so I watched, you know, I watched strippers before. I did the same thing. I did my mm-hmm. research, and I was mm-hmm. like, what is a what about this is something that um, 
what what is authentic about what what things and I and there really weren't a lot of authentic and one of the things I realized is that the the devil is in the details with, with women. Women always look at the details or they look at how when a guy's dancing how he how he arches his back and whether he you know like a, you arch your back and how your fingers are pointed when you you know little things like that just make the make it look more authentic and well um. Yeah, I guess, but I wouldn't say it looks authentic if it's not really you. Yeah, well, I mean, the authenticity of it is you. I think. I mean, I think. I mean, because a funny. lot of people try to pretend and try to like copy things, right? But that's why I say, I guess, the method acting. Exactly, thing. it's what you I'm had, saying. I had to remember what was I doing when someone was doing this to me, right? Right. And I was like, I remember I came, so I was like. Oh. And what you're it felt quiet, like. So you're almost you're, you're, right. right. And that's and that's and it's I, like but right. it doesn't mean that we were having that same experience right. because mm -hmm. I, you know, I wasn't uh, like at all. Uh, it, because there's no it, it, it wasn't like, oh baby, I love you. Oh, God, right, right, you're so right. great. But right, it wasn't right. never like that. Right, right, right. It was just that I remember that somebody did fuck me like this in this position. Right. And I really did like it. And you did like it. And this is what it looks like. And this is so, what see, it looks this like. This is what I'm talking about, oh. Mara. An ethic. <laughs> Artistic integrity. Yeah, she That's does the the absolutely thing. and I mean I'd say that with with all like really if you you, you haven't seen Coco Brown's movie is fucking really, really good. DP Queen. DP Queen. Ugh. Mm. Just. I know. I had to tell my boss, like, one time we did, like, two DPs or three in a day. And I was, like, back going on the train from Dortmund down to my city. Because you were in Germany. In exactly. Germany. Right. Dortmund to Karlsruhe. And I'm sitting on the train. It's bumping. I'm like, man, my ass hurts. I'm like, I'm never doing this many <laughs> DPs in one day again. I'm like, I'm talking so bad to my boss tomorrow. Right. Yeah. So See, I'm like, this what? is what I'm talking about an ethic. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's an ethic to that. I mean, if it's you, like you're eating glass or something, you know, <laughs> like the Barrymores, like they were really method actors. Right, you know right, what I right. mean? So they were like, you know. Yeah. What percentage of your films are you into the into it when you're doing it? Because it, it is it, it, as much. Or are you? Like I guess the question is, are you it. into it? Do you get the I'm other? into the fact that I'm doing my job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, but never really. But I mean, into, sexually, are you? That's amazing because I mean, it was sense. really Harry. I don't know if you've seen Coco Brown. I, I have not had the pleasure, but I will. Man, after this. like I, it would be rude to do it now. I feel like <laughs> when I should be focused on the sound of the show. So if you just, hear, uh, hold on one second. Let's just yeah. pause for a second. Let's yeah, hold on. But really, really an ethic. Sorry, and, I'm just lowering the mic up and down. <laughs> if I can. My bad. I'm not focused on the sound. I'm busy watching. Um. It, so it definitely. Definitely feel like there was a you know that kind of that kind of ethic to it. Um, also, one of the reasons why I wanted to bring you on is it's not so much because of a, a porn star I mean, because that I mean that it was your job. Right. But um, you, I happen to be um, at a, a watching you on lip service, and here's here's a, an interesting is you were you were discussing uh, weak men and pity fucks. Do you remember this conversation? Yes, I do. Yeah, okay. And I thought, and, and, it, and it goes, because he, let me just give you a little background. One of the things that Beige Phillip is, is uh, it's about making men more credible. Uh -huh. um, I think the feminist uh, movement um, has kind of gone awry in okay. a sense of where they have emasculated men and men are, you got, you got a lot of bitch ass dudes walking around. And, Absolutely. And I Absolutely. never, I've never really ever, ever met a woman who didn't want a strong man. Now, the definition of a strong man slides up and down the slide depending on the woman, but every woman wants a strong dude. If she's going to have a dude, she's going to, she wants a strong dude. And you were talking about pity fucking. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what the conversation was or, or should I rem remind you or? Mm -hmm. I remember a little bit. But well, you, you basically were saying, well, this guy, he went, you, you fuck him because you've been with him and you get back with him and you're like, ah, and then he just got to take whatever he gets because yeah, it's absolutely. a pity fuck. Right, right. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? I mean, come on now. I mean, look, look. I mean, like, look, I'm like, I'm horny. Right. And you need to just come over, but I really don't like you right. that much anymore, but... Right. That doesn't sound like a pity fuck to me, though. That sounds more like it, it's, it's more personal like a, to you. You're no, taking it's advantage, not, which is nothing wrong well, with that. Well, but, well, wait, but that's the whole thing of a right. pity fuck right. is mm. taking advantage of the situation because one of the one of one of the partners is definitely more stronger than the other in that sure. situation. Right. Because who's giving pity to that one? 
Yeah. Yeah, because it, my because understanding it's not, of the pity it's not, fuck was always that it it's was, not you feel people's. sorry for the dude and you throw him one. Right. Yeah, well, that's, he's, he's, it could he's be that. He's asking for it. He's, yeah, he's, he's asking, always asking for it. He yeah. always is asking for it. But he's asking for it in a way where we don't respect it anymore. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. And that's fair men enough. think the same. Yeah. They think men think the same way in certain ways, but they don't. Re- but you uh, know no, what? All no, women. Men, at all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think all women are pity fucks to men almost. Right? They're like you're just you're just you're just that. I'm gonna fuck you because I think you want what. No. 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 Okay, no. we'll handle the other stuff. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Coco, we're gonna handle everything else. But you do have your expertise. But this, I, and I get it because I mean, listen, you're an attractive woman. It's I can I, I you would never have a problem getting a man. I uh, you could see that just this very you exude sex appeal and 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 very intelligent person too. Because we'll get into that because um, Coco is actually studying to be uh, an astronaut. So Correct. right, so um, this is not just one sided. It's not like just a great fuck, which is clearly. I mean, but um, but she's an intelligent woman as well. And I think what's interesting is that um, there is a dynamic. There's a social dynamic of a, of what a woman is attracted to. Uh huh. And and I think it goes to a very visceral place, a very instinctual place. Mm-hmm. And I think that a lot of men are thinking about this cognitive well she's asking me for this and so i give it to her and she i I don't want to make trouble and i don't want to make her mad and i want to whereas a woman wants a guy to define himself uh, define who he is and not let the woman define him and then she can find him attractive because of that strength because he shows that strength of who he is and then she can attach herself to that and her emotions to that because he's defining himself and you can feel comfortable and safe with him if he doesn't do that i don't think you feel safe so. Well, here's the thing. Most men don't do that. Uh, absolutely. And, and that's uh. why most women try to change men when right. they get with them. But my whole thing is I don't try to change you. I want you to be the best who you are at that moment, at right. that point. Do you understand what I'm saying? And, sure. then, and then whatever attributes that you have that I see, I'm like, you know what? We can work on this and make it better. But I'm never here to change you. Right. And that's what most women do but wrong. I, do, do, all, do most women think that? Because I don't think a woman yeah, goes... Ever think really yeah, interesting? They okay, yeah, they do. They, they, Their they, whole focus is to change the person. They're like, I'm with him, but I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to make, I want to mold him to right. be what I think he should you or think could that's the be. Case, Dante? Well, I think, I think what's interesting is I, you know, I've said this a thousand times. A woman falls in love with you for everything that you are. She spends the rest of the relationship trying to change you into everything right. that you're not. That's and right. And if she succeeds, she dumps you for a guy who is what you were when she met you. So could I mean be. that go that could goes be. that goes to the that goes to a uh, a real basic principle. Um, but it, you know when we talk about this, we talk about the the fact that um, a woman is testing you to see if you're you're Absolutely. you're a, a valid mate choice. You know? I don't say valid. I just say that to see that you are a proper man, which is valid. <laughs> no, not valid. Sure it you, is. Don't have, you don't have to be valid. But to va- be a proper what I'm saying, man. what I'm but saying, valid saying proper... in the context of you. In, in con- no, not even for me. I don't understand what it's the just, difference is. What, there I mean, is a difference. It's just, it's okay. just the fact of saying. It's just the fact of being that. Are you good enough? To be around me as a man doesn't mean I like you or everything about you, but right now I see that oh he's a good guy. Okay, that's all it is. But I don't understand what you mean. What, why do you object to validity? Using the term validity, why is that an objection in your mind? I mean, or, or what in your mind does that say that that you don't? What do you mean? Well, okay, because I'm saying I'm valid. If you want to be around me, that makes me no, valid. no, 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 no. We want to be around man anyways okay that's just the way it is it doesn't matter that's why you would see a girl with a guy and you're like why is she with him okay because he did something to make us feel like a woman and okay. make us feel like you know what he has proved himself as being a man not saying he's done things or bought us things or did this or did that or did what we wanted to do it's just that there's just being that type of man of saying are you a man are you confident in yourself will you stand up for yourself will you when we go outside will you walk on the street side uh, right. you know what i'm saying right. will you maybe i'm not asking you to open the door up for me but, but would will you? but would you wow. i can open the door for you too but would you put that extra you know little right. step forward or wait a minute 
oh, I go to the store and I go and buy this and do that. I don't need your money, but oh, baby, you put your car down. Oh, that's so sweet. Right. It's not like I'm asking. That's making you validate yourself to me to let me know that you care about me right. and my little things in my life. Not as far as saying, oh, baby, I'm going to pay your rent and I'm going to buy this and buy you a car. It's just like the little things. You see, women, the most the men don't understand. The devil's in the details is what I said in the first place. It was yeah, men don't un- yeah. Exactly. Men don't get that. It's yeah. all about, you yeah. know, and, and, and they don't see that. They think we're just asking, but we just want you to, you know, first show us the little things. You can get a woman just by like rubbing her feet or rubbing her back or say, baby. But, I mean, and it could be for like two minutes. Right. And then you go to sleep. And she'd be like, oh my God, my man rubs my feet every night. He's so right. great. Right, right. Because so I you, love it and my feet hurt. But what you, you're saying is, it, it, you're saying is the, the devil's in the details, the fact. But what you're ultimately, these actions, these actions ultimately mean that I'm here to take care of you. I'm, 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 that's I'm, all oh it is. God. And that's what, and it, exactly. That and it's not financially, it's not a financial right, thing. It's right. about, it's about, are you here to make me feel like a woman? And of course, sex is very important. Sure, sure. So, that's so. very important. But I, I think even as a as you you know if you're if you're focused on these details when you become focused on these details every then, woman is then that's, you, that's what makes us women. No, I'm saying well even as a guy as a guy to to focus. You on, can't do that. You're a man. No, you can do that because I can? do it, I do it all the time, and that's the thing that makes you feel like a woman is the fact that I'm aware of these things that these little things that make you go. Wow. Then you're a rare. T- yeah, I that people say that <laughs> a lot. Mostly you. <laughs> yeah. Dante's people. I am people. But I think, but it is, uh, yeah, I, I do, it's, the, I'm, I'm very careful and very particular about the details. I remember, I'm the type of dude that will remember, I'll remember your bra size and your panty size. I will Okay, take, that's just kind of creepy though. I, I don't think, well, it, w- it would be creepy if I said, hey, listen, let's, uh, uh, um, let's go and I feel like, let's go, let's shop for some panties for you. And or if I brought something for you, how about if I just brought something nice for you? I'm, I mean, I'm I'm not really asking if this worked. This has already been uh, well, it's nice. this has been proven to work yeah. internationally. So yeah. let me just say that first before tried and true. Yeah, it yeah. is tried and true. Uh, you take a girl and and but just knowing her shoe size and just being able to pick up something little or something something to say. I was thinking about you that you were important to me. You're important in my life. You're right. And, and 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 understanding when your birthday is, the day that we met, those those little. things things when a, when a guy remembers those things and just you know i mean i was in i was in sixth fifth grade mm-hmm. and i gave a girl a anklet with the date of our the date that we met oh. on a, a, <laughs> I was in fifth grade. So I was way ahead of oh my, my time. God. Let me Wait just say. Bang. I got to wipe the tears <laughs> away. I, I'm Hold a prodigy. A I mean, oh, you get oh a lot of Asians, God. they play violins. Did Not braid, me. Did you braid the bracelet yourself? I, I, I actually <laughs> mined it. It was gold. I mined it and then I beat it out with a hammer. I was going to say, did you put beads on it? Too? <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, just, it's it's, it's like, I've uh, and I had a, uh, the girl, that girl that I, she still remembers that. Uh, like She's a grown ass woman. She still remembers those little things. And Very it's, good. She still wears it. It's in a shoebox under her bed. She got you know? fat, no. so she can't fit that big ham hock of an ankle. I in wear it. it as a ring now. <laughs> yeah. I'm say it was on her toe. <laughs> she, she's wearing it as it's a, a ring. But I mean, I think that um, you know, just understanding that those details and, and understanding, like, look, it, because that says that communicates you are important. Yep, that's it. You're important. That's it. And when a woman feels like, wow, this guy really thinks I'm important, he's he's aware of this. But not to the point where it's you become kind of this sniveling kind of bitch ass dude. Okay, well, yeah, I do have one of those kind of people too. <laughs> and I do, I, I like, you know, I say it to everyone else, but not to him, but right. he says it to me. Right. I'm like, he's my slave. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I come in the house and I'm like, undress me. And right. I just stand there like, I'm like, you know. Right, right, And he's right. just like, and I'm like, now rub my feet and don't touch me like any weird way. Mm, wow. <laughs> and then I'm like, I guess that's get nice out of my... to a certain extent. But then it's that's not the guy that you, you go, mm. Nope. The one not that, at all. See. That, see, that's the thing. And see, and that, and I'd never ha- really been in such a situation before where right. I've actually even... I mean, yeah, okay. You know, I mean, like I'll spank you on the butt maybe once or two times. Right. But never mm. to the point where I'm like... Take my shoes off. I'm here. <laughs> right, 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 right. I mean, I've I've had situations where I would, you know, had kind of like a, 
you know, masochist women win. I'm not a masochist. No, I'm just, well, well yeah, it is. I mean, well, look, you're submissive. Maybe. He's submissive, maybe, right? He's submissive, and, and you're being, you know, dominant. dominant. He can be dominant, but I won't let him be. See, that's the problem. See, See yeah, when you get a guy who doesn't give a fuck whether you want to let him be is the guy that you go. Because mm, the reality is if this if you wouldn't let, like I've been in, in situations, in, not in relationships, but when I'm going out with someone, if I can't be the dominant one, then I'm out. Yeah. Well, and see, actually, like, the woman is always the dominant one, but you guys don't, men don't know it. It uh, doesn't matter. That's absolutely not true. <laughs> but go ahead. No, it is. <laughs> no, actually, it is. I, well, I will say absolutely something. Absolutely not the truth. Just okay. to throw something Mara said, which was. Uh, I mean, that's how it, I feel. It, it, <laughs> a woman really wants you to a lot to turn over control to you. So. Yeah. Is what yeah. you want. Ideally, what a woman wants is for you to be credible enough, as she said, has said, to turn that control over to you, so you can be the dominant one. Yeah, but once you but, do that, then the men, usually men, take that um, as weakness. No, that, well, for us, they well, I guess they take that as a point to do uh, as as a purpose to do whatever they want to do. Well, this well, this, well, that's that's well, that's is, not I don't, a credible man. Well, that's 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 what this show is about is to to understand that you should be in charge, but not to take advantage of the fact that you to exactly. still be as credible and to see because you you see said, if my slave would have said to me, really stood up to me and said, "I'm not your slave." I mean, he said that already, yeah. but I didn't believe it. Right, right. <laughs> Right, but well, he didn't believe it because he continued to right because do things what, that you asked him. exactly and credibility is credibility being a cre being having, being a man of your word being credible is saying what you do and doing what you say. Now, that's if you right. say something and then you still do the same things that you've been doing, then you don't have any credibility. That's right. And and I think women really understand that they understand that even when it doesn't benefit them. If if a woman is any one of the things I say, if a woman is is late, if I coming to pick you up and and you're late, I'll you know you get a five or ten minutes and then I leave. You know what? It, what my ex-man used to do, he would tell me an hour before, mm -hmm. he would tell me like if it's at seven, he would tell me it was at six. Right. And I thought that was the best trick he ever did because right. he was like, I knew you were going to still be like 15, 20 minutes right, and right. we're still on time. I'm like, you're so sneaky. That's so genius. Right, right. I'm like, I love you. No. Well, here's, here's the thing with that. I would never do that. Because I but, want, but and I'll tell you why. Because why? I go, I want you to respect my time, and I'm I'm not really. But interested. if you realize that your girl is chronically late, I mean, I was married to a white German. Give me a break. I, I don't know what uh, that. I have no I, idea. I, what uh, that Germans means. are <laughs> very Germans strange. are known like, for their efficiency. I, I go, oh, what, oh, what? I don't. Oh, so he was to their detriment at okay, times. Efficiency. If you read I'm history. like, that is, what do you think? This the time is the time. Everything is looking at the clock, and yeah. like, I'm like. I'm like, would you just stop? People Coco, why are you not ready? <laughs> I know, right? I know. Everybody is like, this people are like. This starts at 1,500 hours. <laughs> You're right. They're like, what are you doing? Come on now. <laughs> I, but I, I think the, the making the effort, uh, you know, making the effort to be on time. Because you have I the try. <laughs> I do, there really. There is no try. There is only do. There is what only happens? You know, says Yo, I have Yo. no clue. I really don't. I literally don't. It's like I'm in the house. I drop something, can't find something, can't find the keys running here. I'm like, oh, where's the shoe? Wait, oh, my dog. Wait, what? There's always something, and there yeah. seems to be it just I don't even get it. I mean, I'm like, I don't. But get let me it. ask you this. You said you were married to a, a, a very efficient German. I mean, what kind of pressure did that put you on the, the fact that you weren't on time? Like every time you go, you're like, oh shit! Here we oh go. my god! Right, right. Oh my god! See, we had a few that, incidents. He kicked me out of the car one time. <laughs> and, and we were going to a party, and he kicked me out of the car one time because I was kind of drunk when I got in. He was like, "Oh my god, you're well." I'm not gonna say it in German, but you know, he was like, "Oh my god, you're drunk," and oh my god, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. You should have told me earlier. And like, then he I'm like, what happened to your one hour before plan? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mara, do you know her? Do you I know don't. Coco? <laughs> I think y'all have, I mean, y'all never hung out. Like related. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, and then I got kicked out the car. He was like, you just get out. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like this motherfucker just kicked me out the car and, then you're, and you're like oh my god how dare he and I love actually, him no actually I didn't really care I just went out with some I went out with my friends I was like what whatever I'm like my man fuck him I'm like I'm gonna take some and selfies then, and then you came back and you're like oh my god we were still married exactly. I mean I mean what of course he's gonna come back he's my husband I gotta give him a great BJ right we still we still gotta like have great sex absolutely sure. absolutely <laughs> 
Uh, it's 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 funny because it was when my best friend is chronically late. Yeah, and it drives me up the fucking wall. Yeah, and I just leave. See, that's that's the see that's that's a great thing when when uh, I, I it's funny because I know girls who have dated other girls and they and they and they don't date girls anymore. They're like, oh, I can't deal with them. They're fucking same a shit. pain in the neck. They deal with the <laughs> they're like they're fucking crazy. I'm like, no, you are crazy. You are. So it's it's an interesting thing how we think of things differently and the way we build that attraction. And there's so mm-hmm. many little things that 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 cultivate that kind of. Um, that attraction and keep the intimacy going and and so on. It's, it's when you have these boundaries and you know this is a man who you respect and you love and he won't take your shit, but he's but he's still the guy who's got your back. He, you know that if something goes wrong, he's got you a hundred percent. And 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 those are the things and those things go back to the, these original kind of gender roles that we've always had. Mm-hmm. I, and I think that trying to change this is what has basically created all these bitch ass men who just are succumbing to this pressure when a woman really wants you to go look i'm you have to rabbit ass mind like are you fucking right, crazy right. and 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 i think when that happens is so often guys are willing to, to discount their manhood in the context of that mm-hmm. just to get the pussy Absolutely, and and then once they get the pussy, it's just only a matter of time before they lose it because the the woman doesn't respect them anyway. Well, for one, they fuck like a jackrabbit if that's all they wanted, and right. then it's over in a second. And we're like, "Ew, that wasn't worth our time, anyways." Uh, and I I don't get that. I don't, like if I get a if I get a nice pussy, I want to you know. I want to marinate it. I and... want to cook it. I wanna... No, I I dated I want... a guy. We actually dated for about a year, and he was. And I I like. It took me like six months to train him, not to fuck so fast and to like get it over so fast. He was like, I was just used to girls. Like, come on now, I'm. I gotta go. Mm. Wow. Then let's do this and do that. And I was like, dude, no, 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 no. I'm His, like, it, you know what's crazy? I broke up with my my prom date because of that. I was fucking her in my father's car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he, had a, he had a Pontiac 6000. Oh, um, beautiful. <laughs> and I was fucking her beautiful in the car. Beautiful automobile. Lots and, of room uh, in the back seat. Right. <laughs> she, I, Were I, you uh, in Illinois? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, actually, I fucked her in the front seat because it would recline. It was like Nash seats. It would recline all the way back. Plus, I could put my feet on the on the dashboard and get some leverage. And uh, so sure please your dad. God take. Oh, your dad What's with is, all that goddamn like, foot like, mark. <laughs> What's this foot why are there footprints on the windshield? Shut up, <laughs> dad. So um but uh I used to always even I, I mean I, this was like uh got to be uh senior year. I was like eighteen, seventeen and I'm fucking her and she came and then I'm so now Really at seventeen? I don't think so. Yeah. No. Yeah. A woman can't come at yeah, 17, can. you don't believe? Sure they can. No, sure they can. no, she didn't. I had a Hitachi Magic Wand it doesn't at matter. 17. This, I, Wait, no, you didn't. I absolutely Stop did. It. I absolutely did. I had it. Okay, as, you know what? I'm going to tell you a funny Hitachi Magic Wand story right now. Right now. I got a better one. Whichever way. Go ahead. You go first. All let's right. Then, all right. Now, let's just say what the Hitachi Magic Wand is. It's the <laughs> ultimate vibrator. It's my vibrator. favorite vibrator. I have like four of them. It also desensitizes the them. pussy, though. You keep you wearing them out? You wear, you, you, you're wearing them? You're overheating? I wear them out. I guess I must it wear is, them out. It is a plug-in. I mean, it they have a cordless, but the plug-in is the best one. It is. You, yeah. you need that. You, yeah. you need, need that, that power, power from the those vaults. <laughs> you need those vaults. And 210. 210. Uh, you yeah. can't do 120. You got to nope. make sure you ground your... Check with your... Uh, you need you the, you the three make sure, plug. You got to make sure you're next to the plug in the wall. You're like, wait, we're too far. It's coming out the wall. Wait, not Here, too First far. of all, <laughs> this is clearly amateur business because you have to have an extension cord. There you go. I mean, I always have, but you know what? I had that in my fucking porn uh, my little uh dildo bag i had an extension cord rope string uh three prong plug in case sure. i had european the adapter. european adapter sure case <laughs> <where I'm at. laughs> see and i would travel with my whole like european adapter thing when i would come to america i'm like baby we're on vacation i got my vibrator i got the adapter what you ready okay let's go no. <laughs> but yeah, they, go ahead. Give me okay. the okay, 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 okay. So I was like on, you know, went out with this guy a few months ago. We went on like quite a few dates. Really great, wonderful person, great job, and stuff like that. So I'm thinking like, okay, fourth, fifth date. I don't know what it was. I'm like, is it sex time? Is that like the American thing? I'm like, I don't care. I don't know. Maybe I'm hon- <laughs> horny. Maybe we'll just do it. Then we're laying down together. 
and he had the smallest penis I've ever seen in my life. Really? Oh, no, man. like like it's like a mushroom in a in a in a briar patch. No, like- actually, <laughs> actually, when we went out to dinner that night. There was a caterpillar, and I've never seen a caterpillar here in New York. And there was this girl who was like, "Oh my God, there's a caterpillar in the sidewalk!" And he was like, he picked it up and threw it in the and threw it in the like in the grass. That's what his penis his reminded penis me was of. A caterpillar in the. It was like the caterpillar. So, anyway, that's we're why, there. and you realize so, that's why he wasn't trying to fuck you, right? No, actually, he tried to. That was the amazing part. Before then. Well, I, I'm sure. No, I'm that saying, was, I'm saying, you get a guy like, like if you get a guy and he's really not trying to fuck you. No, he was trying to fuck me. He wanted to be in my pants. So now I'm gonna tell you the story. No, no, this. Let me give me a second. So then we're there, and then we're at his place, and he's like, blah 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 blah, and he takes his pants down, and then, he, and then I like touch, and I just felt like I felt like I was molesting somebody wow. you know, because it was so little and I started laughing and then my hands went away and I was like oh my god I can't do this but then he brought out the Hitachi one and you were like I'm in I'm like I'm in I'm like <laughs> and you know what I actually kissed the vibrator <laughs> I'm like oh my god I haven't seen you since Germany <laughs> oh my god but I'm like where did you get this from uh, this is did you <gasps> and know and I totally forgot I didn't oh, know he had it oh okay oh, but I mean, you had one before that this oh, was, I, yeah, of course yeah, 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 Germany. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that was like that was like that's right, my right, thing. Right, right. But how I was like, oh my god! I like oh, and I didn't even care about him anymore and his caterpillar penis. <laughs> I was just mm. like, you know what? I, I'm like my my Hitachi's back. Now his his, <laughs> his was crazy. The uh, okay now what? And then I told him after he was being weird to me, I was like, you know what? Don't be funky with me. I will tell everyone you. No, that you've got the smallest penis yeah, I've ever seen in my penis. life. Oof. And then it's he rough. was nice afterwards. And then, you know, I but, guess you know, so. I guess you got to, if you tell everyone that the guy, you know, whatever, because yeah. everyone was saying to me, they're like, oh my God, you we guys don't wanna, are so We don't want to go because we don't want to upset him. Mike, shout out to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> um, he, when did you, when did you first come? Because uh, I'm going to tell you how, how far back, because I'm much older you had than your you. your Hitachi Magic Wand? Yeah, I had my Mag- Hitachi Magic Wand in 84. <gasps> Oh my God! Really? Jesus. Yeah. So was it still model? only with the two settings? It uh, just off and on. It was. It was, it was a pump hand, a gas handle. Yes, it did have it high up. and low. Yeah, off it's all on okay. high and low. Okay. Yes, the blue with the bl- light white with there blue. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, eight nineteen eighty four high school. Wow. I had a Hitachi Magic Wand. Yep. Wow. And I had a, a red hot vibrating butt plug and vibrating nipple clips. I was seventeen years old. <laughs> And I used to go to uh, go to the store. That's why the guy always would talk to me. The guy <laughs> at, the, at the shop, he'd be like, "Hey, man, how you doing?" I walk in, they'd be like, "Dante," <laughs> like, <laughs> which is a little embarrassing when you walk in and everybody knows you. He's like, "What you shooter?" What? <laughs> He's like, "What? What's going on? How you been? I ain't seen you in like a week." I was like, uh, "And only up. one week?" Yeah, it was like awful. Like, <laughs> it was really awful. But the, I used to give that as a gift to good friends of mine. Um, <laughs> Did it make them feel inadequate? Well, I, I told no. I mean, I used to give it to female friends of mine. Oh, and I was like, oh, I'm, they yeah. probably hurt their pussy at first. They're like, oh my god, wait, well, what is this? This is shout out to Marina, Marina, <laughs> <laughs> Marina. I gave Marina and I were tight with we friends. I gave her a Hitachi magic wand, and I said, listen, before I give you this, I just need you to know. This is it's not um, fuck your pocket rocket and your rabbit. This is serious business. You need to, you need to take your time and just you know whatever. She goes yeah 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 whatever whatever. I'm experienced right. So she she, she calls me up, um, laughing and laying on her bathroom floor right. So she calls me. Ah! She's laughing. <laughs> well, some, hello, hello. She says, oh, I just used this, your birthday gift and I put it on my pussy and my legs gave out. I fell off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then she used it until the, the, the cord got frayed. Oh, so Jesus. she said uh, that she, she used to, sometimes she'd lay on it and get shocked. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bitch, buy another one. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, she probably enjoyed it. Yeah, they added just, to yeah, the thing. There's no yeah, other reason. To, she makes enough money to buy a yeah, new one. Yeah, That's what little, it was. I Who did, likes looking for the sharper image? I, <laughs> <laughs> Do I, they I, have those stores? I, I dated a chick that used to uh, shock a dude. I used balls. to have that. I had that too. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. The I used to have prodder. I no, I had that. those too. But I used to also have the vibrator with the like electricity and stuff. Yeah, you know. And oh, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't like. And I've also had. I've had a lot you of electricity. Like 
It's weird. Yeah. I do. You know what? I started liking it about two years ago. But all the years I was together with my mm. husband, who, you know, and whatever other person who was German. like, who wanted me to be into it, I was like, oh my god, no, it's so weird. But now I'm like, you know what? Hmm, maybe I like it. Mara, any electric shock? <laughs> no. Uh, this chick, I knew a chick. She she was like, um, I'm, I she she I really like was turned person. off. She used to the dude used to stand in a cookie sheet of water and she would sh- jer- jer- she would suck his dick and then shock his balls with a frayed <laughs> extension cord. Okay, that's a little too much that's, for me. That's yeah. a little much. I mean, I, I like just like choking, but that's about it. Choking, I like that too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I like oh, wait a minute. Up. Damn it. That's why I did porn. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I did that. Wait, wait. That's me too. <laughs> I'm giving oh, me, me. Oh, me, me, me. I'm yeah. like, what? Oh, 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 oh. No. She, I mean, let's she's be like honest, the, she's, like the, she's like the little girl that knows the answer in second yeah. grade. Oh, me, me, me too, I too. Know. Yeah, I you, know. I'm sitting here like a good girl, but I'm like, yeah. I know what that is. Wait, hold on. <laughs> you filled out a lot of bingo cards. Let's be honest. A lot of... That's fucking awesome. Uh, the um, uh, here's what I wanted to talk to you about too. The uh, the the idea of what's what's funny is how you you know, I don't even know how to put this. Like, so when you talk about different relationships, guys that you've dated, they've they've uh, there's an array of different guys from guys who are weak and guys who have caterpillar penises <laughs> to guys who are crazy Germans who want you to be on time. And there's an array. Do you think that your the porn career opened your mind up to just kind of be accepting more, accepting of more things than than not, or just you know that that kind of open sexually, being more open sexually. No, no, you just always was like that. Yes, because uh, I was married when I did porn. Okay, so that was already me. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I, you were I, married I, when you started porn. Uh, I was already with the person, then we got married about. A year later, mm. and he made my contracts with the companies. Wow! Now, what's it, what? What also I think is kind of interesting is that as just and I, I mean, I did some, I did some live sex acts and stuff like that in front, you know, live sex act in front of people, and when I was stripping and stuff like that, I did too accidentally. <laughs> really accidentally, <laughs> I never do them on accident. You just kind of like walk in on it. Right. <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh my God. Okay, wait, don't stop though. Wait, what? You shouldn't have came in here. <laughs> Do you not believe in knocking? <laughs> She's like, I knocked, I knocked. I was kicking the door, but you were screaming too much. I couldn't hear it. Um, I am kind of loud. They like put their hand over my mouth. I'm like, what? What? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, nice. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. They're like, they're like, they're like, eat, put these panties in your mouth. Shut up, bitch. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> oh, oh my God! You're such a beautiful person. <laughs> Inside, <laughs> just I'm like, just really? I'm like, are those your undies or mine? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> just like it matters. Still, be still, in my heart. Yeah, you know what I mean. She just, you know, I just feel sentimental in a minute, and just in that moment when she was like, just stuff panties in my mouth to shut me up, and I was like, oh, I, just feel, I feel like that Indian with one tear just went down. <laughs> 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 um, the, 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 but to talk, it's interesting because we, we talk about the, you know, how guys are to, you know, I try to teach guys how to be, to, to understand what those, those masculine cues. One of the things I always say is that a woman doesn't know what she wants. Her pussy does. Um, it becomes this, this kind of visceral kind of thing when you, you, there's a guide, it's a feeling. It's not a list. It's, it's not something that you can really explain uh, in, you know on a cognitive level it's it's you feel these things that um that turn you on about a guy that you you feel that he's this kind of person i don't even know if you you even know how to describe it in a sense i can actually yeah. absolutely Go it's ahead. just that most women i mean we know what we want it's just that most women are too embarrassed or cannot... You mean sexually. I don't mean sexually. I mean when you're talking about the guy that you find. The attraction is a visceral attraction. We still can't really say it. Yeah. We're just still yeah. too embarrassed. Just... We expect for you to just know. Right. Or do you think that they don't feel like they're good enough to receive whatever they think that they want? Like, well, that's I get, inter- that's I get, interesting. I, get a, I do get a few guys that I have been with who have said to me, oh my God, I've seen your movies and I 
I could never compare to that. I was like, I'm like, dude, I'm with you. Shut the fuck up. I'm right. like, just fuck me properly or be with me properly. And then I we're get okay. the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I've seen your movies. I'm like, what movie? I don't know what, what movie are we <laughs> fighting. And, uh, <laughs> They're like, why list. don't you give me? They're like, why don't you suck me like that? I was like, what? I'm like, because you don't deserve uh, it. Well, you have it, to deserve really great. Yeah, you know, he blow has, jobs. You have great. to ask. You've already kind of yeah, lost. Right, huh? right. Here's the other thing. The other, right. you, there you go. Yeah. If you have to ask yeah. me for it, then kind of. Because if yeah. somebody eats your pussy the way it's supposed to be eaten, you're going to suck his dick. Like, give me that. Give me that thing. Like, no, no, not necessarily. You don't feel so. No. You don't feel if somebody's turning. I, I always, you wouldn't if, want to if somebody. I think got if you're you getting the wreck, the wreck. I don't mean as a result nope. of the. I I don't mean Not it as a. Re- I yeah, I kind of agree with you. I think if you sense? if you emotionally turn me on or right. protect me, like show some protection and something, like sure. oh my god, then, I'm gonna suck the fuck. Then, that, you know there you go. Kind of there name. you go. It's yeah. more about that that feeling that comes out of here mm-hmm. for us, right. and that's what men don't get. It has nothing to do with you know how you touch about us. That? I I don't I can't separate those two. Because you, you're a man, you know, I, I can't say like that is if this is a woman that I'm attracted to, I it those things automatically come out of me. I mean, even mm-hmm. though Mara and I don't date, we we don't we don't even say that no more. Nobody nobody says that. No I'm, one wonders. Nobody wants anyone. Probably because I talk about my boyfriend. Yeah, I don't know. That's true. <laughs> Maybe. True. Yeah, but they can. I guess that could be a big damper, right? They could. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> Every time they look at you, go, "Well, my boyfriend." They're like, oh, "I'm turning this thing off." <laughs> Boo! His. He's fighting October 24th. If anybody wants to check Boo! it out. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's it's even with Mara. Like if I'm with Mara and there's a situation, like I I take care of her. Like okay. it's just kind of my default. It's like you, you know, if she has a problem, somebody's. Doing but then you're that good friend, man. We yeah. still have that too. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm, but I mean, I only do it for her because she's my friend. But I that's mean, what I, I just said. That I, good friend. But man. I would. But I mean, I do that. No, uh, th- she's got certain access that another woman would not get, just because she's colleague almost more than anything yeah like else. we're like tight but it's more family that. That. but there you go it's still that thing because yeah. it's still that connection i mean as a woman you understand what yeah. i'm saying it's right. just that thing right you know what i mean because you could still be in that work situation and he could still not be the way you feel comfortable with you'd be like yeah. oh it's still we're still a good colleagues but right it's yeah. not like he's, you know, he got my back or he'd right, be right, like, he'd right, be like, right. girl, that's your problem. I'm out. It's not my <laughs> thing. <laughs> Where your man at? <laughs> he's fighting on September. Uh, I, I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. Fighting. Uh, um, you read my man. You read my mind. <laughs> see? See? Um, but what, I guess what I'm saying is, is sexually intimacy. The intimacy of sex is, is what I, th- I think a lot of guys don't understand that the intimacy of sex. It's, it's. I mean, I've had a lot of sex in my life. I've been with a lot of women. And so for me, fucking somebody is not, it's whatever. I don't even want to have something that I'm not emotionally connected to. Somebody that I don't like. Somebody that I don't want to explore. Somebody that I don't want to talk. I don't want to hear what they have to say. I, I, and that connection becomes real for me in terms of the, the sex becomes, uh, it sprouts out of that intimacy of this That is general. so Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, but it's where but, I'm but, at. But, but, it's, but it, no, I mean, it's like, but it's beautiful. But yeah. it's like Disney is beautiful. Yeah, you know what I'm well, saying. Well, you know, I, I don't know if you find this also that you know sometimes you go to the end of that cliff and then you kind of pull, find out what you like and what you don't like. You know what I mean? You you explore all these things and then there's certain things that you just don't like. Um, I, I I but I well yeah but I would have liked to have known that I had discovered it years ago. You know what I'm saying? And do you think you did or no? Absolutely. I, like, at what age do you think you really understood yourself sexually? 20... Really? That early? Five? And when... Did, oh, 20... Okay, now, when did you become sexually active? When did you... Do we have to answer that question? No, you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to, no. no. Well, I, I started at 11. Does that help? <laughs> No. Okay. Oh. No, but never mind. But sixteen. What? Okay, Where's okay, the problem? So that, no, that's no. There's I mean, no that's, problem at that's all. That's reasonable. It's sixteen curious. is reasonable. That's a normal. Average. That is a normal age. Why? That? Why? Yeah. Why? why? Holy shit! I'm lying. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> all, right. all right. Fair enough. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. 
Um, all right, I'm not gonna touch it. But uh, there you go. Here, here, what I it's, it's like for instance that you get guys that are always talking about threesomes. Guys are always talking about threesomes, but most guys can't fuck one girl properly. True. So yeah. how do you fuck two properly? Well, I am uh, with someone who is very who knows how to do this, but I, he's one of the only people that I've ever. I've actually really, uh, you're right. Most mm. men cannot do right. this. They they really, they put it in your face. They throw it in your face all the time. Right. I want a threesome. Bring me a girl. and Let's do this. And your friend is hot. And oh, uh, why don't you kiss her? <laughs> and then when you start, <laughs> <laughs> go and grab why her ass and, and kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> they get you drunk. You're like, all right, motherfucker. Are you dating Keith Robinson? <laughs> yeah. God damn it. See, God damn it. How about Shut you? Grab a titty for God's sake. I'm about God to sake. grab a titty and twist a nipple for yeah. me. <laughs> you know, that's how men get, you know, they yeah. all of a sudden, but then all of a sudden when they're confronted with it and they see us like, and they were like, holy shit. They're like, oh my God, they're really doing it. Is this really happening? It's really happening. Wait a minute. You go they're all right? in. They're you... like, <laughs> they're like wait a minute, wait a minute. What? What? Hold up for a second. They're like, I'm not okay with this. They're like, baby, are you, what? wait, what? Wait, where are you at? Where are you, why are you in the corner <laughs> with a soft dick? <laughs> That's usually how it always happens. <laughs> that's usually how it always happens. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. never you know really can like? actually like, perform. Why don't, you, why don't you throw the trash? You want me to throw the fucking trash? And you start swinging garbage can. You're like, Jesus like, Christ. Uh, I'm <laughs> like, honey, why don't you just get out? And then you always end up just. Yeah, I'm like, you always bu- end up just I'm like, you're the freaking, girl. I'm like, you're freaking my partner. My, my new partner out. <laughs> He's like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go and put those shelves up. You've been asking for. <laughs> I know, right? And yeah, did you see my hammer? Uh, all right, I'll find it myself. Never mind. I'll go buy one. I'll go buy I one. I see you can't talk right now. <laughs> I'm like, get the fuck out. Look, you're not helping. Get out. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a it's a weird thing that when guys are confronted with that. With the, but I've only had, you know, this is the only person that, I mean, there's like, there's not too many people. So, you know, right. if you can meet someone who can actually do that. I don't know if you should be scared of that guy or into that guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, which one are you? That is fucking probably the most I, one of the most Super quotes yeah. I've heard in a long time. I, yeah. <laughs> the guy that can have the three that does a good threesome. I don't know if you should be scared of him or really care about him. That is explain that. I get it, but explain it. What the fuck? Why not? Well, that means he could be like a super slut whore and does it all the time. <laughs> mm. Or it's like, oh, God, baby, I love you. You're the best fuck of my life. <laughs> oh, my God. I want more. Let's fuck more bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're hooked on it. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Let's go to the strip club. But what does that say about us? Mm. Are we? Are, have we lost it? I don't know who we as society you I, are. You, or, are we I talking about know. me Wait, and you? No, really? Like me and the couple? Mara, uh, the guy? Like the guy, have we lost it? Me and him, when we like okay with that, that we like okay, let's go or that, okay. I mean, who, who should be the person to say is there? Should there be a person in that relationship who says threesomes are like totally fine and we're able to do them? Which one of us should say enough it is enough? It change, it, well, well I, he's not. I'm sure he's not having. Well, if he is having relations with the girls outside, then you're like, well, that's wait the a no minute. No. Yeah, that's well, the wait no. a minute. But that's... I, I will, I will be like, you know, she's really hot. We should fuck her together. Right. Okay. Where's that's, the problem? With and that? a guy yeah, would but go, then are you also going to the movies with her later? And yeah, then that's are you the also other problem, go, yeah. Are you like, hey, well, out, if she <laughs> wants. You should have seen the face she just made. Man, yeah, movies. Uh, like, I'll wait, eat her wait, ass, but I'm not uh, going yeah, to see Jurassic yeah, yeah. Park with For you, real? bitch. I ain't sharing <laughs> popcorn with nobody. <laughs> Look, yeah. whatever. I'm going to throw popcorn in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you be holding my man's hand at the movie theater now, bitch. It was just, it was just sex, ho. Get out. It's one thing to get some get pussy out. juice on your face, but it's another <laughs> thing to go Just shopping at the popcorn. mall together. Don't share my popcorn with my man. <laughs> you, can, you can sit on his face, but don't you share my popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> That's when there's something wrong. Uh, my, my, Mike's wife, was she was she, uh, we used to do threesomes all the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, it, This is a horrible example because she's your ex. Why? Yeah, well, I'm well, well, That's not this. why, though. Well, that's yeah. not why she's yeah, yeah. Well, His but, issue wasn't the other bitches in the bedroom, it was lack of ability to do laundry. Yeah, so. well, that's a whole <laughs> yeah. a selfish, selfish. Uh, anyway. anyway, you don't want the, me doing your laundry, your yeah. stuff would come out colored. <laughs> 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 I'll be like, damn it, where'd that red sock come but, from? But you'll be, like, <laughs> be like, yeah, and she sucks the fuck out of my dick. So, all right, I guess I'll wear this pink shirt. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <shit. laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, it, it, it. How about get a housekeeper? What happened was, I think uh, she because she was she was she was fifty percent. She didn't really like men. I think that was the other thing. She liked me, but she didn't like men. I don't know if you've ever experienced a woman that's not really into men. I go through spells like okay. that. I go through a spell where I'm like, I am off men. I am so done with you guys. And then I get a guy and I'm like, oh my God, you're, you're I'm like, oh, it's really big down there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, maybe I'm thinking. <laughs> so but she was, she was into women and then she, but she liked me, I guess, cause I was kind of, I, I mean, I'm, I think I'm kind of like a lesbian. Like I'm like a, kind of like a dyke. I'm you know? sorry. Yeah. Like, I mean, I have that, those kind of, I still have that kind of masculine energy, but. We did meet on a softball field. We did. Right. I play cricket and field hockey. <laughs> <laughs> but I can always beat you in field hockey because I had a mean <laughs> shoulder check. But. Um, I can play soccer, Deutschland. Oh, nice. Hello. No. <laughs> that is a lesbian sport also. Yeah. yeah that was, they are wild. I'm lying. I can't play no soccer. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of pussies have been eating while they were wearing soccer cleats. A lot yeah, of pussies really happened. like in there, but uh, it it was um, but she was into women. She kind of she liked women, and genuinely she liked women, and so it was it was kind of easy to do. But it got to the point where like I would come home and she'd have some bitch in the bathtub, and I'd be like, <gasps> like. <sighs> You'll be like, oh, uh, bitch, not like again. again. Uh, like, not, not again. again. Was... Like, I want to go to sleep. Where's dinner? Where's the Where's the hamburger helper? And then I'd be like, well, um, I don't you know, be rude. listen, I don't want to be rude. And she's here. So I guess we'll have to. She <laughs> did bring a nice casserole. <laughs> Let's make this a quick one. Let's just make it. Give breakfast. me a second. Let me wash my hands. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, hashtag Dante problems. <laughs> Dante problems. Um, do we have any wonderful? Uh, we got some, some listener mail. We're hang out, Coco. Some... We're gonna help some people. Some questions. Okay. And... Hey, we put the sexy music on so we can. Do... Uh, we got more questions over our Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, here we go. Our Twitter is at beige Phillip. Um, sorry, excuse me. It's all right. How do you start implementing the rules in everyday life? Oh, that's easy. Um, I think, uh, well, let me explain, give, give Coco's back. So this is the Beige Phillip show. We have Beige Phillip rules, and a lot of them are, are about being a credible man. I mean, one of the first things I, I say is just to, 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 ne- to protect your manhood at all costs, meaning be a man of your word. Do what you say, say what you do, and women will find that attractive. But you have to do that in order to 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 become this man. You have to practice that in every situation, and that goes from when you say you're going to be someplace to be there. When you say you're going to do something, and it also goes to this is interesting is when I, a lot of times I'll have a guy call me about a relationship and he'll go my girl does this and that and the other. I just I talked about this uh, there was a guy I did an interview and the guy was like oh he, he, the girl who produced the show was his ex-girlfriend mm. and he was like she's always kind of yelling and screaming and I, and I and I he goes I go yeah but that put was your you. dick in her mouth <laughs> more that often was, that always does work but you got to be a guy who can put your dick in somebody's mouth, though. You can't well, then, do that. Then, you know what? If she's yelling at you, then you didn't get to that point already. But, you yeah. know, but, you know, that always shuts her up. She'd be like, you'd be like, what? But put your fingers, like, between her legs and, like, then be like, come here, baby, come here. Uh, she'd be like, okay, wait. Uh. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> But your fingers got to still be down there, but not in an annoying way. Because men get annoying down there with the fingers, right? They like, they like, you're like, what do they do? They don't know what they're doing with the they fingers. Like, they're like, they use the wrong ones, and then it gets all over the place. And they start and, scratching you. Yeah, and you're just like, and usually I'm just like, stop, go sleep in the guest room. No. <laughs> just have to maintain some consistent rhythm with that, no? Well, with what? It's not about like rhythm. It's about knowing me. Or knowing, not knowing he me, even, knowing knowing feelings. I don't even say it's a. It's not saying a person. It's like it's. I a, give it's it even one better. It's not even knowing feelings. It's being able to read the cues of, of when you're doing something right and when you're not, and knowing when to stop when you're not. But doing then you're the right. thinking too much. No, I mean I think you can. I think that's something that you can. As a, I mean me as you a man, you don't have to necessarily I think, think you, about you, it. You understand when this is not working. I mean, and you don't. If you continue to do this when you know it's not working, or you. But just, how do most most men don't seem to know? Because they're not paying attention 
Um, I believe that. I, you know, I say they well, think they're like this worked on the last girl. Yeah, and then you know so why not? Then, well, exactly. you know, we I've said this plenty of times. If you say if you're missionary style and you're too deep, if you're too deep, then the girl will push her hamstrings against your thighs because you're too deep and you're hurting her. If she wants more, the, the her hips forward. will relax yeah. and they'll fall backwards, and she'll even no. See, that's something men only would know. Because that's not something I would ever... Right, I mean, I fucked you know? a guy in his ass, but he's never done that before. Lean back, pushed back. Or a girl yes. also. I mean, I fucked... I don't know. <laughs> well, any, anytime I see that, women women fuck women horribly. <laughs> you just don't have enough pro- practice. We, we don't... Because it's not our thing. We don't <laughs> yeah. It's not sure, our thing. Yeah. It feels weird. When I put a strap on or try to fuck someone, I'm just like... I'm like, dude, I don't understand how you guys are doing this. I'm like, this motion is not getting That is definitely not the motion shit. Right, right, right. (laughs) Just going (laughs) counterclockwise. (laughs) She's like trying to drive a manual. I'm like, like, how do you do this? Coco is moving her body in in the infinity sign. I don't know how you're (laughs) (laughs) she's doing figure eights and shit. See, that's why I get it wrong all the time. She did two backstrokes instead of back and forward. (laughs) I know, right? I'm like, you know what? I, I could do good with like you know with the like it's a dildo in my hand but you know come yeah. on now the strap on is really difficult i think for women it really is we could maybe do it to another girl well, because we understand not attached. i mean you know it's yeah. a hard one yeah well because you don't do it well it's, it's kind of attached with panties that keep falling no, down that's not the same thing <laughs> <laughs> Pogo is just like i'm like you, you know right you just know, like, you, with nope. the strap on you don't know <laughs> with the panties right they stay up but not normally and we're like Nobody oh, no. knows no, what you're talking no. about. <laughs> oh my god, am I talking about all oh my my oh my god, everyone is thinking I'm such a bad girl. No, you're talking no. shop, that's all. Take uh, well, it, look, we talk about take, but no understand what I guess my point is understanding those those cues is because all women give you those same cues. It, it's you just have to be want to be aware of them just That's to be able you want to play the when question you, that I asked I the question was like how do you do this <laughs> it's you, doing how do you implement the rules in daily life you oh, implement okay. the sure. rules in every just credibility the as first the finger somebody no yeah that was it uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's something helps. about panties and a strap on it I don't know um, we just went so all there that you go. I hope yeah. that helps you out <laughs> the, the point is to practice it you practice it every day until it becomes uh, just without thinking it becomes breathing so I don't ever open my mouth and say I'm going to do something the, unless the I'm same, absolutely yeah. sure that I can do it same rules like create a bidding war even in life and business make you yourself to, anything, indispensable you know, you, you know even when it, when it anything you do you, you know here's yeah. what it takes it, I think it, what is it what is it Mars six times you have to do something six times in order to, to for it to start to become a habit at least six times not women. It's three times you do three women. Yeah. <laughs> women three times. Well, it's some no studies longer. have set up to twenty-one times. Twenty-one times. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, we'll look at that. But we'll, sure. but really, I think the point of the, the answer to the question is the repetition of just to keep doing these things and acting, be an incredible dude, doing what you say, saying what you do, and being very careful about what you commit yourself to. Also, being um, well, whatever you, you like, say you're going to do as a man, do it. Do it, it. doesn't matter what it is doesn't matter what you commit to just just do, do it. it absolutely also as a woman well yeah, usually that, yeah. you, usually see, you see we don't she have says, to yeah really <laughs> nah <laughs> doesn't really work like that that was that's how the way perfect. the world works though how perfect was that fucking answer well nah <laughs> it's as true as a <laughs> It's as true as a guest has ever been. <laughs> and this is why I want. She's so. It's so raw. Like she just. It's but just, that's the truth, though. Is they. Can who's just, that made on get Family to, Guy? Oh no. Oh, oh, no. She's like no. Nah, I mean, I change, do, I change my mind all the time. I don't want to do that no more. Women can get away with that right, because you, we do allow but it. You said you love me forever. Mm, not anymore. Uh, no. No. Not I today. did love you forever. I did. When I, I loved you. It when was. I said it, I it today meant it. I just don't feel well and you <laughs> get out of my face and I don't love you today. Oh my god! Oh my god! Integrity, amnesia, fantastic. That is the the uh, ultimate proof. Come on, let's do one more. Okay. Um, our well, let's skip over that. What are the characteristics of an alpha male? How, I think credibility, credibility and decisiveness is the characteristics hmm. of an alpha male. Integrity. Uh, integ- well, credibility, leadership. integrity, le- leadership. Um, you know, you are a, 
you are a leader of Decision other men. Maker. Leader of other men. That other See, men. But I, I, I think uh, some of those categories, that's a credible dude, and that's what we preach. But sometimes alpha males just fall under the character of being very aggressive, can't they? I mean, no, unfortunately, no, it's I a broad spectrum, isn't it? Sure. I think that you can. Alpha male is a guy who's aggressive, but if a guy is, who is aggressive and he, ha- and he doesn't have any credibility, he doesn't have his word, he doesn't keep his word, he's not an alpha male. I mean, all of those things just, it starts hmm. to, everything starts to unravel based on your lack of integrity. So right. uh, if he, it, the alpha male is usually the aggressive dude, the the big dude, the guy who's louder and stronger and but everything. Aren't those the like the guys, the meatheads that are like bouncers or like whatever? I, I actually, wait, let's just say That's I, I, I bounced for many years, uh, Coco. Okay, I, I dated bouncers. I used to date MMA <laughs> fighters. Could, Come I on now, so, I was like, I was like I all over so them. I see I lift that. them up. Because like, she's uh, she's like, because uh, you know, a, a, a big dude would look at her and go, "Oh, look at she's so little. I need to protect. Come here. She's like a girlfriend in a pocket." <laughs> <laughs> um, so alpha male is one thing. I think that's a good point. Being alpha male is one thing. Credibility is another. I think we, we need to distinguish that. Alpha male is kind of this aggressive masculine energy, but I, I I think that all of that unravels without the credibility. An alpha. I think alpha males can be. Credible, but sure. I, not but every alpha male is credible. Yeah, you got a lot of alpha yeah. males that are just that dickheads. That is very intelligent. This, what you just that, 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 that was very nice. Thank you. I appreciate no. it. Very that was well, almost as good as your cop out on being. I know. Not really. Not really. <laughs> well, no, I don't really have. <laughs> Shouldn't women be accountable for the things they do? No. Nah. <laughs> 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 one more and then we're out of here. Let's yeah, go. This is my favorite one. Our second marriage is worse than first one. Mara. You answer this one. Uh, I don't think they could be. I think, I think that they. Know, I think that you have a better idea. Yeah, it's more of how it's gonna go. Yeah. yeah. However, I feel like the fourth one is gonna be worse than, <laughs> or the third one is definitely gonna be worse than. Yeah, all the fourth, of them because combined. the fourth one, if you, if I'm gonna you're get going, that third one right out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> <In> <laughs> I'm gonna get out. the third one out and then get to the fourth one because. <laughs> I like well, I'm it. ready I like for even my the third one. You're, you're on your third? I'll, I'm, I'm ready to do my third. I think so. I've been married not, twice also. Are you not sisters? You sure you're not sisters? <laughs> it's like the movie Twins. I'm like, I've already done two. I'm like, I'm working on my third. Come you on. make it sound like a doctorate. <laughs> She's like, I'm working on my third. <laughs> Mara and Coco are actually doing the mirror game right yeah. now. They're like, uh, my God, it's almost like we we were like in each other's head. <laughs> you know, I, I don't. I, I mean, I certainly can't answer from experience, and I, I guess Dante can't because he hasn't been married twice either. But I would assume that you'd know a lot more. One, you'd be older, so. You yeah. Infinitely more know, experience, inevitably rather know a lot more about yourself than you did. And you when know you were about younger. marriage. You know, I s- think I think um, a lot of it has to do with the amount of healing and time and and reflection that you take on your first one yeah. afterwards. If you take a moment to to right. go, what did I do wrong? What do I want out of the next one? Then you're gonna be. Don't just uh, <laughs> get divorced and jump into the next one. Like <laughs> is that my mistake? People? I yeah. think I just. Uh, oh my god! Here they go. They're doing the mirror. Do it. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, hey, wait, you want to get married? Okay, let's yes, do it. Sure. By the way, uh, sure. shout out to the nature boy, Ric Flair. <laughs> Four marriages strong. I think he's working on the fifth. I was 16 gonna, time world champion. I was going to check out the Guinness World Record for how many marriages. Liz Taylor, I think, had seven. I don't know. I think that's well, seven. I was eight. Seven or eight? I don't know. Seven. That's, that's, it. Look that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Mara, That's it. Mara and Coco are like, we're gonna, I'm going to take that bitch well, down. I know. Right? I'm sitting there thinking about it. I'm like, how many can I do right now? I'm like, my sister's been married four times. Damn it, so, that bitch. Are you going to try to do like one of those like uh, gang bangs, but with marriages, like 500? <laughs> get them oh lined up? Oh, my God. Never in my life you will I do, do a gang bang. Well, no. Never. I meant the marriages. She's like, but gang marriage. Yes. That's what I'm there saying. you go. <laughs> and only if my man says, baby, let's fuck more than one guy at once. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck with that. I oh guess you'd find it. Oh, my God. Though. Coco, such a pleasure having you. You're such Thank a sweetie. You. Um, tell me what you got going on. We got going. I know you, we didn't even talk about your, the, the, the... But everybody talks to you about the astronaut thing. Just, just, I know. Nobody talks I, about normal stuff anymore. I'd rather talk to you about you. And that's fun. That's no, it was much super better. Fun. Um, super fun. Anything coming up that you want to plug with the fans? Um, yeah, absolutely. Actually, I'm going to do a party, uh, another party uh, for my podcast show. It's going to come out. Uh, Coco's Brown 
guy to the cat guy to the galaxy. I have to get it right because I'm like, okay, gotta we didn't say talk it. anything about the space. To her oh yeah, I mean, but everybody, come on, now. everybody, everybody the mother knows. talks about that. Yeah. It's so it's like okay, it's there, it's out there. And no are worries. you gonna fuck in space or no? Nope. No. Okay. Oh. Then we definitely don't want to talk about this. I want some vibrating panties in space. If someone like you know, if Hitachi, hello Hitachi. Hitachi, <laughs> Hitachi's gonna make a vibrating panties. Make Spatoka. me some panties for space, mm. and we're gonna, gonna sell them some together. Little, some little girl, some little nerd kid that listens to the show just came home from Comic Con. He's got a pair of panties right now and some diodes. Oh, He's look, working on it work, right now. If they He's work like, in space, <laughs> if they gonna, work in really space. Cook-o. I'm going to wear them under my space suit and I'm going to be like, oh my God, it worked. <laughs> uh, I'm going back make, in the ass. I got to make some panties for. Uh, what, what size do you think Coco what, is? What, what size? What, what size? I, I Extra just said small. <laughs> I'm like a size two. Oh um, man! So you got your you got your podcast coming, Coco Brown. Guide to the guide galaxy. To, guide to the universe. <laughs> guide yes? to the galaxy. Guide to the galaxy. Got gotcha. Because I'm going to talk about everything. Okay. All right. <laughs> Whatever comes to my Anything mind. Else? But mostly. No, I guess I'm pretty boring. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Anyway, I love you, baby. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. All right. Mara, what's up, baby? Talk to me. You can always find me at maralive.com or through our website, beigephillip.com. Tweet us, uh, Instagram us, Facebook us. I'll answer. Yeah. Harry? Mm-hmm. Uh, quick, uh, I'll plug my stuff in a second, but just quickly, a woman has the record for 23 ex-husbands. 23. And a man from... Wow. Uh, Where's she from? China? Uh, <laughs> no. It's either She seems white, either English or America. I didn't get didn't say. But the uh, 72-year-old man has been married 52 times. <gasps> in, uh, I what? Think, uh, Why would you do that? Uh, 52? Does he have alimony at all? I, I is, he, is he a billionaire? No, this man is from some weird... Co- I can't even tell. They didn't even say what... This place is terrible because... Is I he think from, he's like, Thai. Ida? Iowa? I think he's Thai Idaho? Or, Thai or something. Yeah, he might also be, uh, I think, in, in the Muslim religion, I think you can get a divorce... You can get married to have sex. You have to be married. So you yeah. can get married and then the same oh, yeah. he, was like, he was like, the pussy was bad, bad Get a bitch. divorce. Yeah. Either that or you like, just get married. Go. In, in Islam, you could, you, could, uh, you could get a divorce. All you got to do is that throw afternoon. a rock at a girl. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> I you, know. If you right? hit her, so then you, and you get divorced. custody of the kids. <laughs> anyway, my stuff is at uh, IHateComedy.com. That's where my info is. And follow me at Harry Turjanian. Uh, y'all can check me out at everything at Dante Nero, uh, Instagram at Dante Nero Comedian. Don't forget to rate and review us on iTunes. We really need you to do that. Uh, if you like what we, we're doing, tell three friends. Check us out. Also, we're going to have these these videos are starting to go up. So, I mean, they should be up by now by the time this one gets up. Also, um, don't forget to, don't forget if you want a one-on-one consultation, hit me at SaveMeDante at gmail.com. Um, also, BeigePhillip.com. You can follow all the leads. Um, I love y'all, man. Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. BABB, be a better bitch. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. We are out. Peace. <laughs>